Feels as though I've never been away from them. It feels great. Tom was a top link driver, a king of the road. His loco was the peak of British steam train engineering, and it looked as though it had been scaled at just the right time. With industrial output still soaring, BR's 251 9Fs gave capacity a welcome boost. The most famous 9F was the Evening Star, the last steam loco built for British Railways. When it was launched in 1960, slower rail freight services were facing stiff competition from trucks and even planes. BR was operating at a loss. So a plan was devised to prune the network and concentrate on the fast and lucrative mainline monsters. Between 1961 and 1963, over a thousand miles of railway lines were dug up. Often the closed services had been the local links that made BR's door-to-door -door delivery possible. But the head of BR, Dr. Beeching, was a determined man. This closure is a necessary process of building up the good parts of the railway, those parts that carry nearly all the traffic now. Beeching's plan was brave and ruthless. But the road network was spreading almost as fast as the railways were shrinking. By 1960, both the M6 and the M1 had been built. Soon, the main lines were losing freight to the motorways. In the 60s, this was the gateway to the future, while the railways became part of the past. Barrington Village is dissected by a local goods line that connects the nearby quarry to the main line. Once a week, these sluggish, 30-year-old Sentinel diesels haul a coal train through the village. It takes them 20 minutes to complete the mile-long route. Beeching must be turning in his grave. But this underused local link makes door-to-door -door delivery by rail possible. And that is what makes it economic to send the coal down the main line. And the locals like the way the coal is kept off the roads. Well, almost. In fact, only 8% of freight is delivered by rail now. A once great industry has almost disappeared. But if the motorways get clogged with juggernaut jams, perhaps rail freight will return. Well, that was the last in the series, but Classic Trains, the book, is out now in the shops, priced at £17.99.